Hey folks, this is Kevin Madden with Allen and Heath here at the Javits Center in New York, AES 2019, and we are launching and showing the Avantis platform. Give you a quick rundown of what Avantis is. It's an FPGA-based processor uh, derived from our now pretty famous DLive platform. Ultra low latency, high channel capacity. It runs at 0.68 milliseconds through the desk. It runs at 96 kilohertz, and it is, as all our gear is, completely phase coherent. So the mix capacity is 64 external inputs across 42 buses. It has 12 stereo effect engines on board, DCAs. The entire surface is freely assignable. You can put anything where you want. You can run in a strip mode uh, and have processing options available on both sides. The card slots in the back accommodate 128 channel Dante cards, Super Matty, Waves, as well as our internal snake cards like the Giga Ace and Optical Ace cards, Optical Giga Ace cards. It has a new S-Link port, which is derived from the SQ platform, which speaks to all legacy Allen & Heath racks. So this console can talk to our 48K more affordable boxes that have been out for a few years, or all the new stuff, the DX168, the DX164 floor pocket, as well as the new GX4816. So there's probably about eight different boxes, including the new Dante boxes. We have a 16x8 throw box and a 16x4 install box that all work with Avantis can have optionally, by way of the DPAC plugins option, have all pretty much all the same signal processing and effects processing that's available in DLive, including the Dynate multiband compressor dynamic EQ package. As you work this console, you would find it an extremely familiar uh, interface. It's shy of some buttons, so a lot of the stuff that you're used to seeing on a DLive are actually, you know, now on the sides of the touch screen, and the frame. It's kind of unique. It's you know it's a good-looking design, but it's actually an exoskeleton. It's a uh, alloy that was chosen for its strength, and rather than having internal bracing all over the desk, it's literally you know sort of a tubular construction that has you know very little option of being damaged or torqued or twisted. So that's pretty unique. Something else that's never been seen on a console before. It's kind of a fun little feature. Our light bar. I don't know if you can see this, it's actually on the bottom under the armrest. And the reason we do that is, you know, rather than lights coming over the top that could potentially wash out the screen or maybe not reach the silk screening you need, why not put it under the armrest that shines up just to the silk screening calibration fader hash marks, whereas everything else is pretty much on the screen, pretty bright and high contrast. Good modern calculator, it's new, it's got a lot of stuff that we have planned for it, so this platform's gonna be around, and we are proud to show it here in New York this year.